of space. And so you say after me, I. I, Martha, and Martha, Do in the name of the Almighty God, swear. Do in the name of the Almighty God, swear. That I'll bear true faith and allegiance to the Republic of Ghana. That I'll bear true faith and allegiance to the Republic of Ghana. As by law established. As by law established. That I'll uphold the sovereignty and integrity of Ghana. That I will uphold the sovereignty and integrity of Ghana. And that I will preserve. And that I will preserve. Protect. Protect. And defend the constitution of the Republic of Ghana. And defend the constitution of the Republic of Ghana. So help me God. So help me God. Thank you. Congrats. We've all noted with admiration your work. Um, I particularly have interacted with you when you were holding the fort at the mission in South Africa and um, the efficiency with which you approach your work. I mean, it's not something that we could overlook. And so with the existence of a vacancy like that, I thought that we thought that you would be the best person to occupy the position. And so there's not much to say, but to say that the United Nations uh, posting, the permanent representative to the United Nations, is one of our more upscale diplomatic postings and um, it does take quite a lot of work especially when the UN is in session you're going to get your baptism of fire in September when the UN General Assembly sits and uh, I know that you will distinguish yourself in terms of the preparations that are made in terms of the appointments we have to meet and in terms of putting Ghana's best foot forward and so I can just wish you the best of luck and to uh, as the foreign minister noted being the first woman permanent representative to the united <coughs> nations you are holding the standard of all Ghanaian women and the uh, all Ghanaian women will be looking up to you to distinguish yourself to show that uh, what men can do women can even do better and so i wish you all the best my mind hovers over my humble beginnings and home, as well as the many people and institutions who have traveled along with me and who have contributed to who I am and what I have become. My Christian upbringing and being married to a priest and a theologian, I interpret all the foregoing as God working his purpose in my life and for my country. So, Mr. President, please allow me to say a word of gratitude to the Almighty, the prime mover of all that is. Immediately, I thank you, Mr. President, for the honor done me by this appointment and the implied trust and confidence reposed in me to represent you, of course, and the nation, at the United Nations. <coughs> the message is clear. You are charging me with the responsibility of leading the team in New York to raise high the flag of Ghana at the United Nations and to promote Ghana's national interest, seek the well-being, dignity, and honor of our motherland. Let me say unequivocally that I accept the appointment and with a deep sense of humility, I pledge to undertake the duties of ambassador and permanent representative with all the seriousness and commitment that it demands. I thank you once again, Mr. President, for this great honor done me, and I pledge to be of service to you, the government, and the people of this great nation. May God bless you, Mr. President, and may God bless Ghana. Thank you very much.